raise your drinks if you have them. I don't have a, I don't have a drink on hand, but hey, we lost uh, we lost a pretty iconic director, you know, when it came to uh, when it came to uh, you know somebody that we lost today. Of course, Wolfgang uh, Peterson died today at the age of 81. I tell you, 2022, it's just been just seems like it's constant, but. You know, 81, it's a good stretch. Good stretch, and he had a great career, as you can see right here. The uh, the list of uh, movies right here when it came to, like, Outbreak. I mean, he had, a, like, a string of, like, good fucking movies. You know, Outbreak, Air Force One, In the Line of Fire, The Perfect Storm, Poseidon. And then, of course, he had Troy also. Don't forget, don't sleep on Troy. I thought Troy was great. Brad Pitt, Eric Bana. Orlando Bloom, I actually really, I've always enjoyed Troy when it came to that type of movie. But yes, Wolfgang Peterson uh, passed away today. Enemy Mine, yes, you got that too. And, uh, you know, one of the things that you guys should really look up, because I don't know if you guys know this, but back in 2004, Wolfgang Peterson almost directed Batman vs. Superman. That's right. Did you guys know about that? That's right. There is a YouTube video. Look at this. There's a YouTube video right here. Look it up. Batman v Superman Asylum. Wolfgang Peterson's unmade 2004 film. Watch this video right here. It's about 37 minutes and 20 seconds. Watch it. Get a little taste of what's been happening, you know, what was happening in this movie. This was a movie that actually had full-on casting. There was going to be Colin Farrell as Batman Jude Law as Superman. That's right. And it went through very much a lot of you know, writing processes and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, Wolfgang Peterson was set to direct a Batman versus Superman movie in 2000. Well, it was set for 2004. I, the release date was. But yeah, very interesting. When you hear some of the story details, you go, holy shit. There's some story details that actually made it into the actual Batman versus Superman that we got. It's interesting. Yeah, I mean, I think the writers should probably sue, you know, David Goyer, Chris Terry or whatever, or make a big stink on uh, social media, call it BVS gate and be like, hey, man, yeah, 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 you took my plot points. Yes, I know, guys. And I'm 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 totally uh, making fun of the whole Batman gate thing right now. That's been uh, circulating around for the past week, something that I wish was going to blow over. But sadly, it hasn't because people are given a certain someone a platform. And yes, I'm going to approach it not on Film Junkie Live. I'm going to do an actual video sometime this weekend talking about Batman gate. But yeah, that was kind of my my little lead in to that whole thing. I know it's been passed around. I've had it sent to me many, many times, and I just have to sit down and actually look at everything, look at all the stuff. But for the most part, it's very grifty, very grifty when it comes to uh, what I've seen. But yes, anyways, rest in peace, Wolfgang Peterson. But yeah, watch that video. It's uh, just search for it on, uh, on YouTube. Um, it's from the uh, Super Void Cinema channel. And they posted it last year. Very interesting stuff. But yeah, there's some similarities. There's some sim some story beats that actually were uh, in the actual BVS that we got. Very interesting stuff. So do that. But yeah, may he rest in peace. We lost uh, um, a legendary filmmaker right here. And and please, if you haven't watched Troy, yes, all these movies are great too. But Troy, Troy is a good fucking flick. I will say. 